On the Farm at the Market, written and illustrated by G. Brian Karras. On the Farm. It's late afternoon and business as usual at the Monterosa Vegetable Farm. Time to get ready for the farmer's market tomorrow morning. Leo tells his workers which vegetables to pick first. Some vegetables are packed up tonight, while others will be picked early tomorrow. The workers know that greens are best picked soon after the sun rises, when temperatures are still cool. The vegetables get washed right away to take out the field's heat. Then they're packed up and loaded into trucks. Empty crates are stacked, ready for tomorrow's crops. Soon, everyone but Leo has gone home. He checks to make sure nothing is forgotten. He snaps a bean in half and tastes it. Perfect, he says. Over at the amazing cheese dairy farm, Isaac is training his new worker, Rachel. He hands her a clipboard. These are the directions for making cheese, he tells her. Remember to put a check mark after you finish each step. And very important, don't miss any steps. Isaac takes Rachel over to the big steel vat. To make curds, he explains, milk goes into this vat. You turn on the heater and stir and stir and keep on stirring. He shows her how. Rachel takes the large paddle and stirs like she's rowing a boat in a race. Not so fast, says Isaac with a grin. Rachel stirs until the whey, the liquid, separates from the curds, the chunks. Next, the curds are scooped up and put into molds where they become cheese. The cheeses are placed on racks and allowed to age, some for days and others for months. Ronnie and Louisa are going over the list of cheeses to be packed into the van early tomorrow morning. Mozzarella? Check. Queso blanco? Yep. Cheddar? Got it. Rachel looks at her list to make sure every step has a check mark. All done, she reports. Not yet, says Isaac. He hands her a mop. It's going to be a late night for everybody at the amazing cheese dairy farm. Here on Gary's farm, the mushrooms grow in a room, on shelves, and on bags that hang from the ceiling. It resembles a forest if you think about it, Gary explains. The plastic bags, filled with a mixture of hay, sawdust, and water, are like tree trunks. Other mushrooms grow on cakes that rest on shelves, like damp logs on the forest floor. The temperature is cool, and a fog machine keeps the air misty. Gary trims the mushrooms with sharp scissors and packs them into foam crates for tomorrow. It's late and time for sleep, but there's one more job to do. Morning will come too soon. At the market. Early Sunday, the market gets off to a slow start. The spaces are taken one by one. Nobody talks as tents and tables go up. A breeze blows and the tents fill like balloons. Wind! Someone yells. Tie that corner down, 
Hold it tight. The wind whooshes through and it's quiet again. Sharon, the market manager, comes by with a tray of steaming cups. Who wants hot chocolate? Everyone. Friends catch up with one another. At 10 a.m., customers and browsers start to arrive. Amy, from the Busy Bee Cafe, is always one of the first shoppers. She checks in with her favorite farmers. What do you have for me today, Leo? Some nice Swiss chard, leeks, and take a look at these tomatoes, he says, showing them off. Amy fills her cart. Perfect for tonight's special, she says as she walks away. Save me a table, calls Leo as he weighs broccoli rob for his next customer. There are long lines of people. Produce gets weighed, bags get filled, and pies get boxed. Parents carry babies, and kids eat farm fresh ice cream and cookies. The Blackberry Hill fiddlers finally arrive. They unpack, set up, and soon fill the air with their music. Next stop for Amy is the amazing cheese farm stand. Cheddar cheese, please, she tells Isaac. What's for dinner at the Busy Bee tonight, Isaac asks. One way to find out, Amy says, and winks. The last stop for Amy is Gary's mushrooms. She buys some of each kind. Gary looks at Amy's cart. Hmm, he says. Cheddar cheese, Swiss chard, leeks, and mushrooms. And I see you stopped at Henny's eggs. I can guess what the Busy Bee's special will be tonight. Should I save you a seat, Amy asks him. You bet, Gary says. By the end of the afternoon, the crowd starts to thin out. Farmers put away what little food is left, and tents come down. One by one, the space is empty, and soon the only people left are workers cleaning up. The sky begins to get dark, but the lights are on over at the Busy Bee Cafe. A few of the Blackberry Hill fiddlers show up and play a song while everyone sits down for some of Amy's special market pie. After the hard work on the farm and a long day at the market, everyone is ready for a good meal and some fun. Author's Note Because farmer's markets start in the morning, a lot of harvesting, washing, and packing happens at the last minute. Some fruits and vegetables can be packed the night before, but others must be picked early in the morning on market day. Even though much of the work is done at the last possible moment to ensure freshness, growing fruits and vegetables and making cheese takes a lot of work over a long period of time. And for farmers, timing is everything. Knowing when to plant crops and when to pick them, or how long to age a cheese, is part of a farmer's job. Farmers must take many steps to offer food at its absolute freshest. Anyone who thinks farming is a simple job should talk to a farmer, and then say thank you. Now that you've finished on the farm at the market, you are ready to answer some questions with your partner. Question one. Talk about one good that is produced on the farm and the tasks that are done to produce it. <laughs> 